Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle series, The School of Hard Knocks. So throughout this episode, like every other, we'll be jumping on to the Pokemon Global Link Battle Spot Ladder, playing under the Championship Battle Rules, which are the equivalent rule set of the VGC 2019 season. We have kicked off this week with a brand new team of Lunala, Kyogre, Tapu Lele, Amoongus, Incineroar, and Cartana. So we had a really good start to the week. We, in our last episode, didn't have the best of times. Xerneas getting set up and just coming back and trashing us at the end. Some unfortunate sleep turns longer than we wanted, but all in all, we probably could have set up a little bit better. But just, again, showing how powerful Xerneas can be once that Geomancy gets set up and how important it is to have real fallbacks in um, every scenario against that particular Pokemon. So hopefully, we'll jump into today's episode and um, hopefully we'll be able to kind of approach things a little bit better today um, than our last episode. Um, as always, if you enjoy the content, guys, do remember to leave a like and uh, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of VGC content that we have on the series and other content that we've got coming very shortly that I'm super excited. Uh, I can't even speak super excited about. That's how excited I am about it. But we've got our next opponent and uh, they are running a team of similar. Similar build, so it is going to be Kyogre and Lunala Mirror here with Tapu Koko, Ferrothorn, Toxicroc, and Incineroar on the other side of the field. Um, right, I would imagine it's probably along the same sort of lines of what we're doing. Uh, you've got the Ferrothorn there as the, the trick room check, um, you've got the Tapu Koko, which is probably the Kyogre check. I'd imagine it's going to be Electric Seed, um, Lunala. Um, so our Psychic Seed variant kind of does help out a lot more. Um, whether or not we lead with Tapu Lele is another thing. I kind of would be tempted to maybe... Um, hmm. We need a Moongus in this one. So we've got the Rage Powder support. Um, yeah, I think Michael Lunala, Amoongus, Tapu Lele, and Kyogre. But does that leave us a bit. It leaves. Uh, we've not really got too many ways to hit the Ferrothorn then. And it kind of feels like we want to bring at least Kartana to this match, if not Incineroar as well. Um, so maybe we need to rethink this. Maybe Kartana, Tapu Lele, and Kyogre would be better. The only problem is we lose our psychic terrain <coughs> early on and also bringing the Incineroar here might be nice so we've got at least a switch in for Lunala on our side from the Moongeist beam that would be potentially coming in but I think the main goal here is going to be trying to set up um, a trick room and um, not a trick room, a tailwind and get Kyogre in and start throwing some damage around but we've got the Cartana here should give us good options against stuff like Ferrothorn, against Toxicroak, against Incineroar, so, um, or at least better options than we've got. We're going to see the Tapu Koko come out with the Lunala for our opponent. We're going to get the Psychic Terrain up, although it will get overwritten, so we are going to reveal that we are Scarf Tapu Lele, um, but that's fine. Um, don't mind that too much. Um, we do get our seed boost, which is always good. Um, and I think we just tailwind. Do we tailwind? I think we tailwind here. And um, do we attack though? We could magic room, we can moonblast. Moonblast's not a bad option because then we can break the shadow shield on the opposing Lunala. We get a tailwind up, we can take it down the next turn, which is always very good. Um, so I think that's not a bad play. I mean, my opponent probably strategy here is to um, Volt Switch into our Lunala and then hit us with a, uh, a Moon Death Beam, but hopefully with that special defensive boost that we should be able, and the special attack drop, we should be able to um, should be able to take that. So we're going to see an electric weapon come up from the Coco, reduce our speed, so maybe my opponent wants to match Tailwinds as well here. Um, it is revealing that it is Light Hole, but my opponent doesn't doesn't tailwind here, then we're in a really nice position going into the next turn, but they do, so it's fine. I mean, that's not the end of the world. I, and I think here we probably want to re readjust that board position a little bit so we can get Lele back in uh, later in the game uh, because it's going to be so important. We will, Moon Guys Beam, the opposing Lunala, and I'm just going to switch in Kartana. I don't want to bring in um, Kyogre here. We want to get Kyogre in um, in a position where it's, um, it's able to do and chuck out a lot of damage. 
Not going to see the Lunala stick around on the field for ourselves, but we are going to see the Incineroar make an appearance. Um, it is going to get the Intimidate off onto our side of the field, but not going to matter because we are more special attacking than not. Uh, we'll probably just likely see another. Oh, so it's going to be a T ball this time, not another left or right. And Cortana is able to take that quite comfortably. So, you guys, beam. We've got the. Um, we do have to worry about the turn. Um, from the incineral, which will probably be more than likely into the Cartana. Um, which kind of makes me, I guess, the, the best course of action here is just to. Uh, we've got no. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we Moon Guys Beam. Sacred Sword's not going to be enough to get the, um, the incineral. But I'm going to bring in. Oh, do I bring in Lele? Probably not. It's probably not a good idea. Sacred Sword probably quite a nice option onto Incineroar, but the thing is we probably won't pick up the Kale there. Um, whereas we could knock it off, get rid of the Berry, we'd probably lose Cortana, but then it gives us a free switch into Kyle though, which is just like all the momentum we need. We're going to see an Electro Web come out onto both Craig there, which is not ideal. And the speed does drop. Hopefully we were able to re remove the Corpo now. We do get the knockoff and get rid of that Baryon. Oh, it's a Salt Fest, which is even better, really. Let's go for it. It's all really about us getting the Kyogre in now and being able to kind of spam those water spouts. Yeah, and we get rid of the Corpo. Not sure if the crit mattered there, but... I mean, if it did, it did, but if it didn't, then it didn't. And there's a knockoff. It does get rid of Lunala, which is a bit of a shame, but like I said, it does give us that option to get the um, the Kyogre in, which is super nice for us. So, <coughs> I'd expect Lunala to come back in. No, Kyogre comes out on the opposite side of the field. So, we will outspeed the Kyogre with our Cortana now. So, we came, we were in a nice position to. Um, because we're still plus one with Cartana, if that Kyogre is scarfed, then we'll still outspeed it and we'll get 100% we'll get a Leaf Blade off onto it. We should pick up the kill off, but it depends what kind of build it is, but we'll be able to get a Water Spout off with that Kyogre. Still got one turn of Tailwind left. We'll be able to remove the Incineroar, or like if that Lunala switches back in, we're going to heavily damage it, so it should be fine. And then we've got Scarf Lele in the back to come in late game, and hopefully just have enough in the tank to clean up if we needed to. We've got to worry about Thunder from the opposing Kyogre. Yeah, there we are. Oh. Yeah, we do take it. I mean, it's pocket and berry. We've just got to hope that our water spawn now is going to be enough to take down the Incineroar. Which it is, and then the Leaf Blade should clean up the opposing Kyogre. So the berry coming in super handy there for us. Uh, we will get a beast boost. Although, at this point, Cortana's health is so low. Um, speed is so low, we're, gonna, we're not going to be out speeding the, the Lunala. We do get a beast boost, so we are threatening. But it kind of pulls the attention from the opposing Lunala onto that Cortana because if it leaves it alone, there's the knockoff potential to take it down. Um, so it means Kyogre is going to be able to get at least a, um, a scald off into it and do some good damage. We should put it in range for when Lele comes in to, to pick up the KO. Um, I will just go knock off and I will go skull into that slot. No Lord has lost its berry. Uh, it's it's item. It's it's not got the defensive boost anymore, so it's not. There's the moon guys beam. It it's gonna be into Cartana, it has to be into Cartana. Yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. But the skull's still gonna do a good chunk of damage, so is it should be in range for Lele to come in yeah more than enough and the burn just to add insult to injury um but yeah Lele gonna be able to come in now and um, we'll be able to get the moon blast off and uh, pick up the KO there so it was probably a good idea preserving Lele to the end like I say just to come in I think Kyogre would have been able to do this itself but just having that extra assurance is always going to be quite nice end of the game so um we will Scald, and we will Moonblast, and that is good game to my opponent. And uh, we're able to take 
ev evacuated today, so that's good. And my opponent just bought it. So at least we're back on track today, which is good. Um, so hopefully we can continue that into the rest of the week, which is going to be really positive for us going forward. Um, so we will wrap things up there, guys. Without further ado, we'll just uh, close it off. I will say thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on today's games and the team in general. If you've got any questions, just shoot me down in the, not shoot me, shoot me a, a message down in the, um, the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode um, and we'll see you for the next one very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.